So today is Saturday and you know what that means. It's cleaning day. We're about to clean this whole house from top to bottom. I'm about to recruit everybody in the house, including that one. And so yeah, we're about to go in Family Dollar because it's just something about getting brand new cleaning scents and supplies and stuff. When you clean, it's motivating. Your house smells fresh and new and like all these new scents, you know? So we're about to stroll into Family Dollar really quick and get some stuff, get some more bleach because you know I love bleach and I will be right back. All right, so first thing on the list, we need some dish detergent. Only dish detergent I like is Dawn. I don't get down with all that other stuff, especially not that. <sighs> so let's get some Dawn. I like to get the big bottle and I like to get this one. I have my little shopper with me, my little helper. Gotta get the good old bleach. And I mean, I would use other brands, but nothing is better than Clorox. And plus, plus I like the non-splash formula. We're gonna get some more pine saw, cause y'all know I love pine saw. We're gonna get this, cause this is one of my favorite cleaners. It smells so good. It foams really well too. And we're also gonna get some of this. For our toilets. I think that might be all that we need because I still have some stuff at home. Hey girl, so as you can see, we are gonna start in the master bathroom. This bathroom does need a little TLC. There is stuff everywhere. It's probably been about two weeks um, since I cleaned my bathroom, like a really good scrub down. Um, the last time I cleaned it was at the beginning of the year when I cleaned the entire house. Um, and so now things are in disarray all over again. There is literally stuff everywhere. So we are gonna scrub this bathroom down. So these are gonna be the star players for the day. Of course, Clorox, because I put that shit on everything. Next, we're gonna do the Lysol bathroom foamer. I love this as well. Um, this power foamer is pretty much the same thing. The um, bleach gel Clorox is gonna be good for the toilet and the grout on the floor. Um, scrubbing bubbles, that's my favorite, and you know I love Pine Saw. All right, so we're gonna start with getting all the dirty clothes and, and things that need to go in the laundry room off of the floor. So that includes the clothes as well as the mats. Y'all, please wash your mats, okay? Do not clean your bathroom and not wash your nasty mats, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and take that stuff and put it in the washing mach machine. Of course, we're gonna add a little bleach to that as well. Don't add too much because you know you don't want no bleach spots or anything on the mask, but you do want it disinfected. Also put a little softener so that they smell nice when they come out of the laundry. Go ahead and start that cycle. And we're gonna make our way back to the bathroom. So now I have a laundry bag. I'm just going to empty all of the trash, starting with the trash can in the toilet room. And then just getting rid of paper and stuff and empty bottles, things like that. And so I like to work in like sections when it comes to the bathroom. And I start with whatever is furthest away from the door. And I work my way towards the door so that I'm not like stepping over a clean area. 
so this sink is the furthest away from the bathroom door so i'm starting by just cleaning everything off the sink putting everything in its proper place so that i can begin scrubbing the sink down So I am using my scrubbing bubbles to wipe down the countertops. Also, making sure that I am spraying down the handles as well. Basically, anything that is touched on a regular basis, you want to spray that down. And I am filling up my sink with a little cleaning solution. It just makes it easier for me to wipe down the area when I have um, a sink full of clean water with cleaning solution in it. Um, I have a, a tankless water heater, and so it takes a while for my hot water to heat up. And so I'm just waiting for the water to get hot. Then I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the sink. Of course, we're gonna add a little bit of bleach. And you don't need a lot of bleach. This is just, the bleach is just to make sure that everything is disinfected. You don't, you don't need that much. Add a little pine saw. And we're gonna start in the sink. So I'm just um, scrubbing down the countertop and I'm using this sponge. And this sponge made me realize that not all sponges are made the same. This was like a bootleg brand sponge that I found today at Family Dollar. It was the only, it was the only brand that they had. And um, if I would have known that it didn't work as well, I just wouldn't even have gotten it. But it doesn't, um, it doesn't, you can't wring it out good. Like when you wring it out, it just suds up really bad. And so it's really hard to like clean the countertop with it. So yeah, let's not go the cheap route with the sponges. I didn't have a choice because that was all they had at a family dollar. But if you can help it, use a good sponge. You'll thank me later. All right, moving right along to the toilet. This is obviously the most important part of the bathroom. It's used the most and it's very important that you clean it properly. And a lot of people just don't realize how a toilet needs to be cleaned. So I'm gonna try to walk you through it. You're first gonna spray down everything from the top of the toilet to the handle on the toilet, under the seat, the neck of the toilet and behind the toilet. You must spray down everything. And then of course, add a little bleach to the water. We're then gonna use the um, toilet gel 
and put that inside the bowl under the lip. This area collects a lot of rust and dirt and so you wanna make sure that you clean it very well. And then like I said, you're gonna spray behind the toilet where the knobs are. You're gonna spray the neck of the toilet. You're just spraying everything on the toilet. Make sure that you're using a brush like this to clean inside the toilet and you have to get under that lip really good because like I said, it collects a lot of rust um, and it looks really nasty. It's, it's normally black or brown right up in that lip. And if you're not turned upside down looking inside the toilet, you may not see it. So you have to turn upside down and look up into the toilet to make sure that you don't see any rust or any, any black, whatever that is, it looks nasty. You have to make sure that all of that is out. Then you're just going to scrub down all of the parts of the toilet that you sprayed, which is everything, all right? So you're gonna take your sponge and you're going to scrub everything. When you're scrubbing the toilet seat, make sure that you scrub the inside of the toilet seat, like where the, where the brim is, because that collects a lot of dirt as well. So as you can see, my toilet seat was moving a lot as I was trying to clean it. So I just went in and um, tightened the screws with a screwdriver behind the toilet seat. I'm going in with a hot rag behind my sponge because the sponge was so soapy, it left a lot of soap residue. So I'm just going behind it with a, um, a hot rag to get all the soap residue off and to make sure that um, every part of the toilet is clean. Y'all, please stop forgetting about the handle. Please stop cleaning your toilets and not cleaning your handle. Thank you. The same thing goes for the light switches. Your light switches and your toilet handle are the most touched items in your bathroom, if not the whole house, outside of like the refrigerator and stove and stuff. You have to wipe them off. Same thing goes for your doorknobs. You touch doorknobs all day long, you have to wipe those off and it has to be with something that disinfects. Don't y'all be out there wiping your doorknobs down with no fabuloso, have them smelling good, but then make everybody in the house sick. While you're at it, give your door a wipe down too. You'd be surprised what kind of dirt and grime and spots and stains and stuff pop up on the bottom of your door. All right, so now we're back in the bathroom and um, we're getting ready to clean the floor. So I'm just starting by sweeping so I can get all of the loose debris off of the floor.
I'm using the Clorox toilet gel for the floor. Um, it works really well at cleaning the grout in between the, the floor tiles. And so I'm just um, pouring it over the grout in between all of the, the tiles and then spraying over it with some scrubbing bubbles. And um, instead of mopping, I'm actually um, going Cinderella style, getting on my hands and knees with a scrubbing brush and a little bit of bleach water, of course, and scrubbing the floor. We are also cleaning the baseboards in the bathroom. Make sure that you clean your baseboards. Baseboards in the bathroom always get really dusty for some reason. And so we wanna make sure that we are cleaning those regularly. You see that? That's from the baseboard. So after I scrub um, the floor with the scrub brush, I'm just going behind it, um, just like I did with the toilet, with a warm rag to get all the soap residue and the remaining dirt off the floor. So now I'm just cleaning the stuff that was on the floor in the toilet room, starting with the plunger holder. Um, I know people probably don't clean this out often, but it's like sitting right beside you while you're sitting on the toilet. And you want it to be clean. You want it to smell clean. So um, I do clean that out as well. And today I tried a little trick. I'll let y'all know how well it works, but I put a little bit of fabric softener in the um, brush holder and so I'm hoping that it kind of makes the the toilet room smell like the fabric softener but I'll keep you guys posted to let you know if that actually worked also I'm cleaning the trash can as you can see there is a lot of rust inside the trash can and of course bleach does the trick for that you just put a little bit of bleach in there I normally let it sit a little bit longer, but I really didn't feel like doing that today. So I just um, worked it all around the trash can and then I used a sponge and just scrubbed the inside of the trash can. And as you'll see, it got all of the rust out the trash can and it looks brand new in the inside once it's done.
So now that I've cleaned the um, toilet room, I'm just um, draining out the water that was in this sink um, because I, I used it to clean this countertop as well as the toilet room. So I'm just draining the water and refilling it back up with the same solution, which is water bleach and pine saw. So now I'm just putting all of my little body sprays and perfumes and things back on the countertop. But I hate when they collect dust. I hate to see anything sitting on the countertop and it's got dust all over it. So I'm just wiping everything off before I put it back.
so now I am making my way to the bathtub. Um, just filling it up with some cleaning solution, which is my infamous mixture of water bleach and pine saw. And I'm cleaning the outside of the tub. Make sure that you don't forget to clean the outside of your tub and shower. I think that a lot of times that area of the shower um, gets forgotten. And so just make sure that you are cleaning that as well.
halfway through the bathroom just cleaning off the second sink and countertop um, and just following the same steps as the other countertop getting all of the unnecessary items off the countertop moving them under the sink um, and then taking everything else off so that I can wipe down the counter and clean all the dust off the items before putting it back on the countertop.
like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for rocking with me this far for leaving comments for liking my videos for subscribing to my channel it means the world to me you have no idea and to show me that you really down to show me that you really watch my videos show me that you made it this far in this particular video i want you to tell me what the code word is down in the comments below and the code word for today is Anita Baker, because when I was a kid, I would wake up on Saturday mornings, I would hear Anita playing throughout the whole house, and I knew that my mama meant business and that it was time to clean. So now for the last but 
certainly not the least important part of the bathroom, the shower. I'm starting by going into the shower with my trash bag and I'm throwing out any um, bottles that aren't needed. Um, they may be old, they may be empty, or it may just be something that we don't even use anymore. And so I'm throwing all of the unnecessary things out So I don't know who need to hear this, but if you have a shower like this and you're not inside the shower when you're cleaning it, it's not clean, sis. It's not clean. You got to get in the shower to clean it. There's no way to clean this shower from the outside. You got to get in and get dirty when it comes to these showers. So of course I'm using my pine saw and um, bleach and I'm just scrubbing down everything in the shower. Um, the bleach is really important when it comes to the shower because um, this type of shower holds a lot of mildew at the bottom. Um, it holds a lot of water at the bottom which creates a lot of mildew and the best way to kill like mold and mildew is with bleach. So I use a lot of bleach um when i am cleaning my shower and so now i have this scrub brush and i'm just using the scrub brush to to scrub um the towel the wall towels as well as the glass it works really good with scrubbing um the glass and i also use bleach on the glass as well because it works really well with getting the soap scum off really easily So I normally have a bucket in the shower with me when I'm cleaning the shower and I'll just let the bucket fill up with water and then once I'm done scrubbing everything, I just um, throw the water from the bucket onto the walls and the glass and let it slide down and, and clean all the, the soap off. Um, but I forgot to grab a bucket and I didn't want to get out and track water all over the floor. So I just said forget it and I'm just using um, my rag to clean all the soap off the um, walls. But it's much easier if you just use a bucket.
So the last thing I do is take my squeegee and I squeegee all of the excess water from the walls and the glass and the floor. And um, it just makes everything look so much better. And I bought that squeegee from Ikea for like a dollar, but I swear I, I love that squeegee. Like that was the best thing that I could have purchased to help me clean. Um, yeah, so I just squeegee everything down and then we are done. One last step, I just had to scrub the floor right in front of the shower. Um, I didn't do that part yet because I knew I would have to step on the floor and I didn't want to get it dirty again. So yeah, I'm just scrubbing that part um, on the floor of the floor as well as scrubbing the door and the baseboards right by the shower. And that is it, you guys. So that is the end of my deep cleaning master bathroom vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please feel free to go down and leave a comment, a like, a subscribe, all of that. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next vlog.